Welcome back guys to another video of Kuhong Tutorials with Everything Design. This is part 2 of the Outdoor Space Design video. If you have not watched part 1 already, I will leave the link below. This is what we have going on now. I will start by adding grass. I already uploaded grass texture. You will find your uploads under profile. To add definition you can add more grass in sections from library. Next you can add any decoration you want when it comes to plants, but I will quickly show you what I added to this side of the garden. So here we have painted the wall yellow as it matched the aesthetic I'm going for. The wall plant is from the library. That is the name here. There are many types to choose from. I added more grass here and flowers and a section that I placed the plant bed in the front. The stepping stones will be added later, since I am planning to have some kind of a little restaurant here. Like that, I duplicated to have two matching seating areas. I will also add few chairs and tables, and you can edit the materials to match the colors of the wall. Now we see a add the stepping stones. This is another flower bed I used, to be a seating area as well. I just duplicated and placed it on the opposite side for the space. I would like to have some sort of a bridge to link the garden to the swimming pool. Using the material brush you can copy the materials to other objects, easily like this. The lamps on the wall are quite nice as they have the shape of flowers so I thought they would look good for this outdoor space. Next I added two tables to this area and changed their material to match. This is the pool area. I placed this pavilion in the middle to be the center of attention. I am going to give these walls some character first by adding some mosaic stone and I also decided to add openings to the walls too. That is done. Now for this space I wanted to have a specific shape to separate the pool and the floor. To do that, go to floor plan and add a wall.
curve the wall to your desired shape. You should have something like this. The area is separated and you can of course get rid of the wall. I split the wall because I wanted more curves. Once you are happy with the separation, go ahead and select the wall and change the height and thickness to zero. That would make the wall invisible and you get seamless partitions. It should look like this after applying the materials. I went ahead and painted the interfaces of the openings. For the other side of the garden. I placed these climbing plants on this wall which is a stone veneer wall. For guest entertainment I put a fish pond in this corner, some grass and more flowers. On this side I will put a tree with more plants. If an object won't move as you want it to, just hold control to move it freely. Another tree on the outside to cast a shadow on the pool area. I will place more grass and plants around the tree for realism. You can use the array tool if you want to place many at once.
Make sure you use different types of plants and flowers as it gives elements of texture and realistic environment. Added greenery in between the plants and placed more colorful flowers. I hope this video was helpful. Next time in the last part we will see how the renders turn out and I will show you how to take outdoor realistic images. Subscribe to our channel to not miss any new videos and don't hesitate to leave any questions you have in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.